Opus Dei is a Catholic organization for lay people. It is worldwide, and it was founded in 1928 by Saint Jose Maria Escrivá de Balaguer, who was a diocesan priest in Madrid, Spain, at the time that he founded Opus Dei. Its purpose is to teach people how to seek holiness in their ordinary, everyday activities of life, whatever they do, their professional work, their family life, their social activities. The words Opus Dei are Latin, and they mean work of God. Sometimes you'll hear people talk about the work, which is just shorthand for work of God. And the idea of holiness is to be more united to God, but not by doing anything particularly different from the other people around you, but finding God in the place right where you are. And doing that is, is possible with some help with some coaching, some training, and Opus Dei tries to provide that for people so that they can, they can grow in holiness, they can develop a spiritual life, they can become prayerful, even in the midst of riding their elevators and answering telephones and getting on and off buses and transportation and in between phone calls at the office, that they become people who really learn how to pray throughout the day. The current membership worldwide is 86,000 people, men and women, of all walks of life, all ethnic backgrounds. It's just an amazing display of the power of the Holy Spirit within the church. In the United States, there are 3,000 members. And in all cases, most of these people are married, living in their own homes, carrying out their own lives, and doing the things that everybody else does that, are, that pass unnoticed. But they are uh, living the spirit of Opus Dei. Besides this group of people, which is rather small in context of the overall church, there are thousands and thousands of people that have benefited by Opus Dei's spirituality, its activities, and those people are hard to keep track of. There are so many. The place where I saw it most clearly was at the canonization of St. Jose Maria in 2002, where there were 350, 400,000 people in attendance at St. Peter's Square. And perhaps 10% of those people were members of Opus Dei at the most, and the rest were people who had been touched by St. Jose Maria Escrivá's teachings by the activities of the people who were the sons and daughters of St. Jose Maria as members of Opus Dei and had come to Rome to participate in this great moment of his canonization. Of the 86,000 members around the world, about half are men and about half are women. And, and that's the way it's been for most of the recent years. The women in Opus Dei are doctors, lawyers, professional people, homemakers, they are people who are working in hospitality in our centers of Opus Dei. There's a great deal of, of work to be done in the area of hospitality, and that's their professional field, a number of women doing that. The women in Opus Dei are just like any other women in the world. The only difference you could say is, again, this idea of a consciousness that whatever they do, they're trying to do for the glory of God. They're trying to bring... God into everything and bring people closer to God through the things that they're doing, which is, is a very important part of their, even of their womanhood. The women govern the same way as the men, which is to say that they govern their organization, their activities, just like the men do. In both cases, the men and the women govern with the vicars of Opus Dei. That is to say, the priests who stand in the place of the prelate who really governs Opus Dei worldwide from Rome.